All right, guys, I'm going to try doing something with the wheels. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. I'm just going to make it crazy. So I got this green here. Let's see what happens. Alright, there's the wheels. I painted them green. I don't know what I'm going to do with the body. It's going to be a weird one, that's for sure. Alright guys, one weird thing about the frog, they don't give you window masks, so you got to do it yourself. And I did it by marking the outside of the body with a black marker on the lines for the windows. And I also did these triangle type things here. You can see them. And then I put the tape in there and I cut it and you could see the black through it and you cut around it but I didn't have no exacto blades and I winged it with this old I sharpened it up it's flat tipped so I don't know how it's gonna come out I had to wing it I didn't have no blades on me now let's paint it all right here we go I'm gonna put some green on this beauty here Alright, I'm going to hit this with the hair dryer. Alright guys, now I have this PS14 copper. Hit it with that. Trying to get down in the bottom here, it's hard. That should be good enough. Put the dryer on it. Don't know how that's gonna look. <laughs> Green and copper. Alright, for the body, I'm gonna use a little bit of this. Lame Flake, it's the PS53. Cause I like this stuff. Should be good enough. Too much on it. All right, let me hit it with the hair dryer. All right, now I'm gonna hit it with the PS14 copper. Blow dry it. Another coat here. Alright guys, I'm going to paint with a brush these little triangular things. I already put some of the Tamaya blue on there. I 
forget what color it was. Let me see. PS59 dark metallic blue. I already put some on the edges. And now I'm mixing up some Parma paint. I'm going to do different color greens. And then I got the original green I sprayed on the spoiler in here. I got a lighter green and then a darker green. Oh, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'll show you when it's done. Alright, I finished painting up the paintbrush. What I did was I started out in the front here with the light Parma green. And then I mixed some color and mixed half the darker green with the Parma light green to get it darker. And then the next step, I mixed the darker green I mixed with some of the blue and put it half there and there and then I use the PS22 racing green I put that on that one and on the back one there so now we gotta peel it all off and see what it looks like all right I'm gonna peel it off see how it came oh it's sparkly I don't want to touch it because it's not fully dried yet, but it's really good. Surprise, the windows look like they came out pretty good for that dull exacto blade I was using. Just had to crunch up the wrapper for you guys. There it is. Man, came out pretty nice. See the light in the front and they get darker and then darker and then uh, you can see over here to get real dark a little uh, scuff marks from the blade I went a little too far on a couple of them you can see it a little bit oh well other than that the masks on the windows came pretty good what the heck it's gonna look like because the spoiler here wing let's see what this looks like this is gonna look weird oh yeah <laughs> it's like rusted copper Can't really see it good in here, but yeah, that's weird. We'll have to see what it looks like. I guess it will look something like that. Let's try turning this light on, see if it does anything. I can't see it on camera, but it looks really sweet in this copper color. Alright, next I'll have to do stickers and stuff. Hello guys, I'm putting on the tires. You know how on the tires they say to push the center in? Well, I pushed it in, twisted it a little bit on the rear, and then I got one of my bike tire tools that pops the tire on and I stuck it under and I just popped it out it actually worked like a beauty it, it puts them right in so you may want to try that I don't know if you'll have one of these 
bike tire tools to take tires on and off on like a mountain bike but that's what I did and it went on way easier just the tip here's a little tip for you guys the stock wheels they had the hole in it a little small I make it a little larger with the reamer that way the back of the bearing the inside it scrapes on that and doesn't make it spin up so when you make it a little larger the inside of this bearing here won't hit the plastic and it'll spin much faster so that's what I do here's the chassis all finished just gotta adjust the front toe uh, that's what it looks like I'm gonna clean the table and then I'll show you it with the body on but that's it some people probably ask why did I leave the back of the wheel white I left it white I don't know if these guys could see it but I can you could see white in the back of the green on the back edge of the wheel looks pretty neat but anyhow let me clean this up a little bit and I'll show you it with the body on Well, there she is, guys. All finished. In her glory. It's a uh, Tamiya Copper. And then I put all different types of green on it and stuff. That's what she came out like. I think she looks pretty cool. Look at that. Nice build. I'll tell you about it when I'm finished showing it off here. I did it different than the box art, the stickers on it. I put them frogs on it. Looks pretty cool. I kind of matched the mirrors, not the mirrors, I kind of matched the lights with the uh, wheels. And I went from lighter green to darker green to darker green here and in the back over here. You can't see it right in there to match the spoiler wing and the wheels also that's it let me try turning this light on see if it does anything maybe it'll look better maybe it'll look worse there it is with the light on This does have the lame flake in it. You can't see it now. It looks like little diamonds crushed in this copper color. But outside, it's going to change colors. It's going to look awesome. That's it. Alright. I'll talk about the build. Let me move this here. get my chair now the build this was a fun build I really liked it a lot it was nice and easy it went together really good it was actually a nice smooth cool build the only thing I didn't get was I don't know why to my don't give you the window masks you have to actually do that yourself that's weird they usually give you masks so I don't know why they wouldn't give you the window mask it's like makes it a whole bunch harder if they would have just gave you them it would have been nice but I don't know why they don't so that was the only thing that bothered me was not having the window uh, masks so you had to do it yourself other than that the whole kit was fun I enjoyed it, it was relaxing it was real nice to build anyone could build this one it goes together really quick you could do this in a day it's so easy the body's the hardest thing on here and I always usually say putting these tires on but now that I found how you put them on 
You just push the wheels in sideways and flip them till they go in. And then I used my bike tire uh, changer tool. It's like a plastic little uh, tool. I stuck it in under the wheel over the other side of the rubber and I popped it right over like how you do when you put a bike uh, tire on a wheel, a bike wheel. Worked the same way and it went real easy. So things I did to this is the bearings in here, like I showed you, you ream out the hole and it'll make them spin much better. What else did I do to this thing? I put the fishing line on the back of the CV rubber things to hold them in place. I put a little shim inside the uh, diff on the bevel gear and uh, that makes it tighter so you won't strip the gears. What else did I do on this? I put my electronics and everything totally different than what they show stock. I, I kind of moved the weight back further because like I said in the beginning when I seen these jump they always nose dive so I figured a little weight towards the back will be better so that's why I got you can see it in there nothing's in there just the uh, servo without the ESC in the front it's like under this piece right here now also I put Kyosho Blizzard the wheel bushings I put four of them on the battery tray to widen it so that way you could use like a nice 2s lipo any kind will fit in there now the front's cool the way it works the suspension it's real smooth it's probably gonna work good the rear it to me it's too thick the oil in there i'm probably gonna run it and i'm probably gonna take it out and put 10 weight in the shock so you can see it feels good like that but when you press it 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 just responds too slow so I'm gonna probably put 10 weight in there and the only other problem weird thing it ain't a problem that's how it's made I think is when you put this fiberglass piece on and it goes on with this screw it's like cocked up like it looks like you should put a washer under the top of it but they don't say to do that so that's how it works and that's it she looks like a beauty. I put, oh, the one thing I didn't do. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. I forgot to put the aerials on. I'll do that later. <laughs> so, that's the only thing I have to do. I forgot about it. I was so, <laughs> I was so happy to show you guys it. I forgot to put the aerials. And also, I didn't want the flags on the aerials. So, what I did with one of them you see that over there I put it on that side instead of putting them for on the uh, aerials so it came out pretty good the stickers on the side here I didn't paint this these are actually stickers they fit pretty well I only had to get a little black on one side to seen a little copper for my paint job over here so I got a magic marker a permanent one and went down it so they work out pretty good. I thought they weren't going to be good, but they actually work really good. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the build. It's a nice, fun build. If you didn't get a frog yet, you may want to try it out. The whole chassis, everything is smooth and very nice and enjoyable to put together. The only problem, like I said, is that the body without the masks you got to put your own masking tape in there and cut it out with a razor blade or razor knife exacto blade rather and uh i showed you how to do it with your you mark the outside of the body so when you put the tape in there you could see where to cut it but that's it if you like the frog guys leave me a thumbs up tell me what you think about it in the comments it'll be awesome to hear what you guys think and I hope you enjoyed the build. I know I did. Highly recommend it. It's a fun one. Now I can't wait to run it. The weather ever gets nice out here. Alright guys. Thanks for watching as always. I appreciate you guys. And all your comments and stuff. You're awesome. Please leave me a like if you can. If you're new watching. Hit that uh, subscription. And subscribe. And join me. And you'll see more RC stuff in the future. Hit that bell so you don't miss the next videos. 
And Shin RC, we'll see you next time. One time we'll be out with the frog.